Hello and welcome to the Ward 6 Council Show. I'm Meg Salyer and with me today is John Williams who is president and CEO and chief bottle washer and everything involved <laughs> with Williams and Associates Hospitality. Absolutely. And Chef Andrew Black and Chef, um, we've known each other since you came to the city which is yes. how many years ago? Wow. Six years. Six years. Six years going on seven. Time flying. Okay, it does. And yeah. came to us from Jamaica. No, actually, I was at the Peabody Hotel <coughs> when I came down here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Originally. Originally. That hail yes. from Jamaica. Yeah, which from Jamaica. <laughs> explains that lovely voice. Well, thanks. So you've had a really exciting time here, and I want to talk all about that. Um, but I first want to discuss a little bit some of the new food scene uh, in downtown Oklahoma City. It's getting exciting. It is. It's amazing, actually. You know, I came to Oklahoma City 20 seven almost 28 years ago and we had three options I think we had barbecue <laughs> we had chicken fried steak and or we had barbecue steak steak or barbecue <laughs> back to barbecue and so today you know we have everything um, and you've encapsulated a lot of it on your exciting menu at Flint I think so uh, you know Flint was um, first of all tell us where is Flint? What's Flint the actually of? is a restaurant that occupies space um, in the Cole Court Hotel. Okay. It's not a hotel restaurant. It was never intended to be a hotel restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, we always wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit different upscale, but not necessarily price-wise upscale. Um, okay, so you're right on the corner. <coughs> right on the corner of, of Sheridan, Sheridan and Robinson. And Robinson. And the entrance is at the corner of Sheridan and Robinson. Right. And so to the south of you, you look on the amazing new Myriad Gardens. And the, and the waterfall rock sculpture. It's just exactly. absolutely beautiful. And then your catty corner to the Chesapeake Arena. We are. It was a pretty or actually popular... Actually the convention center, but we're about a, right. we're only a block from Chesapeake Arena. Pretty popular corner it is. during it's the playoffs. Good spot. <laughs> yes. good spot. 18,203 people walk by every game. There you go. That's but it's, great. it's um, you know, it's a very, very unique location, mm -hmm. um, and, and that location will only get better over time. Sure. You know, as our convention center shifts, and hopefully that corner will redevelop, and mm -hmm. uh, Century Center's got some work that's going to happen to it. I understand the garage might expand, and mm -hmm. perhaps some street-level retail. It's only going to get more vibrant and more alive at that corner, so that's a good thing. Great. But we have, um, we have Flint. We have uh, outdoor dining coming. Okay. There's a few little pieces of the puzzle that we need to add to the building to mm -hmm. make sidewalk dining work. We have 28 seats that are on the sidewalk that literally look at the waterfall How rock beautiful. sculpture. And then very soon, probably Labor Day, I think, or just after, hopefully we'll have the patio open, okay. which is not a bad thing. It's kind of hot right now, in yep. case you haven't noticed. <laughs> I haven't. I've been crested <laughs> <viewed>, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit warm out there, but we have this incredible uh, cocktail lounge that'll be open in the evenings. Um, just absolutely spectacular fire and water features great furniture um, it, people are going to love it it's Fantastic. a very 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 unique thing for Oklahoma Sounds City. Sounds like a really vast project you've it undertaken. Is. It is a lot of things going Chef, on. Chef talk to me about um, your <coughs> development of the menu and kind of what you were thinking when you guys put together the menu kind of style wise and some of your features some of the things that seem to be the hottest sellers. Well you know when this menu started out first thing we know is that we want it to be fun Mm -hmm. We wanted to create a restaurant scene where people would come in and literally just enjoy themselves, enjoy each other, enjoy company, and con good conversation about the food. So we started with basically building the foundation like how you'd lay out a foundation of any building. What mm -hmm. works, what didn't work, what is our clientele looking for. We didn't want to create a menu, so to speak, where we didn't appeal to people of Oklahoma anymore. We wanted to stay true, and we wanted to bring some excitement to it. So, you know, we have great items like the hush puppy, for example. Mm -hmm. The, you know, the sweet salad, mm -hmm. which is the citrus and the tomato and also a little of the mozzarella cheese. We have just, you know, it's a fun menu, and we spend a lot of time doing that. Chef, um, the menu itself is really fun. It talks about fire. Mm -hmm. Yes starters and mm -hmm. um, it's a very it's a guidebook it's to, yeah. to lead you through the process of eating it's a field guide to eating oh, it's um, very cute it's we thought we'd do something a little bit different it's not your basic mm -hmm. open the menu three fold and, open and right. find your food right, exactly. yeah. right. I mean, it's actually very very clever I enjoyed it yeah. the decor I, package I think is great too and mm -hmm. I think the food that Andrew's created <clears throat> with our culinary team um, complements the way the place looks and feels and functions 
So for an East Coast girl, I was incredibly right, happy Hope. to find my lobster roll. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. There so you go. good. Yeah. I just there we love go. it. But I was equally happy to find buffalo chili back on there. So yeah, yeah. It, it's it comes down to blending in you know, a palate from all over. You know, people are traveling through Oklahoma. Someone will get up every evening and say, mm -hmm. hey, I'm going to Flint to have something. What becomes their favorite? How do you do that? You know, we spend a lot of time focusing on ingredients. Mm -hmm. Ingredients is a big thing for us. So it's a very simple approach we take to food. When you get the fish, it tastes like fish. Mm -hmm. You know, it's as fresh as you can get it. Yeah. When you get the meat, it tastes like meat. We didn't want to put a lot of gimmicks to it. It's like straight approach toward food and it works. Well, talking about ingredients and food and fresh, we have something really fun here today. <laughs> Uh, this wonderful book is called Foraging in yeah. Oklahoma. It was written uh, by our friend Steve Blackmire. Mm -hmm. And um, Chef, it kind of um, portrays your story of coming to Oklahoma and how you found yes. what you did. Yes. So tell us about the idea and how it... You know, I'll tell you, I remember when I got to Oklahoma a couple of years ago, and I remember John Williams called me and said, where are you? And I said, well, I'm on my way to Weoka. He's <laughs> like, what? What are you doing? He said, and I said, I'm researching something. I heard an I okey accent in there, <laughs> too. <laughs> okey <laughs> accent with a Jamaican overtone. Yeah. I said, <laughs> well, while you can. <laughs> I said, I'm researching something here, because I was told that nothing, we produce nothing here. I said, how could that be? Mm -hmm. And that's where I embark upon the sorghum. And mm -hmm. it never stopped there. And one day, Mr. Williams said to me, you know, we're right downtown. We're in this great hotel. We need to really get involved in the farmer's market. And so we were doing this catering right outside the, far, the hotel and we did, with the f local farmers. And we right. then turn around and use their local ingredients and we use a special in the restaurant then. And over a period of time, we've developed these great photos. And we and had recipes. them there. And recipes, recipes, yes. Of made in Oklahoma right. ingredients, or grown in Oklahoma, or yeah. raised in Oklahoma. Right. Perfect. And one day I remember a cup of coffee and I was going through the photos and the recipes and everything and you know in rights Mr. Williams said you know what we should do with this we should turn this into a book one day and always thinking yeah he said we yes. should turn this thing into a book one day and we said well who's gonna write this who's gonna put up with us <laughs> And Lackmire. Lackmire. <laughs> was it. Came right to right it. Right there. Lackmire, you know. And so it has been a journey. This book has been working on, what, three years? Oh, it took, us, it took a long time. It took a while. But, you know, it's been ups and down. But we, we finally figured out and got it done. Um, the photos are taken by J.D. May Mayweather, uh -huh. which he did a fantastic yeah, job with a it. terrific guy. He really does uh, You know, job. and Steve... There's a different approach in writing the book, how Steve did this one. Um, he actually wrote it in my voice. Mm -hmm. So most of the statements, so to speak, they're not politically correct. As Mr. Williams had said, nothing is politically correct. Translated for lack of <laughs> 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 you know? But so, in addition to your other job <laughs> duties, translator, translator would be, you've got credit in there. So. What, what is this word? Oh, I know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Try this. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing about the book that we made sure we we didn't want you know a lot of time you open a cookbook, and it's really staged properly. The food looks out of this world, and you wonder, well, how am I going to make this the same way? Mm -hmm. We didn't want to do this in this book. These photos you see in this book, it's as it is. It was taken as is. It's one of the reasons I've actually enjoyed it. I, I have yeah. my copy, and I'm hoping at the end of the show you'll autograph it for me. <laughs> I <so>. will, <laughs> I will. <laughs> Which would be great, but it really is. Yeah, uh, the recipes are easy. When mm -hmm. I'm not at work, if I happen to go in a kitchen at home or my friend homes or wherever, I don't want to be stuck in the kitchen cooking. So these recipes are geared up to get you in and get you out. Mm -hmm. Um, but and with, it, great with great farm to table farm, exactly. fresh food, which and is really taken on. And then it showcases uh, our farmers, Perfect. which is the beauty of it. Um, one would say to me, what is my hope on this book? Well, my hope on it is to help educate people that are out of Oklahoma that doesn't live here to one day pick it up and say, wow, they, they have great farms in Oklahoma. Because uh, I'm one of those people that really get irritated when somebody said, oh, it's just a steak and potato town, because mm -hmm. we're not. Right. And we're, it's interesting, though, Chef, you know, both you are both transplants from mm -hmm. other parts of the country, right. um, and John, you've decided, 
um, to make Oklahoma City. Oh, absolutely. Your home this is it. Yeah, this is where we wanted to settle yeah, down. This is it. <laughs> and um, you, you know, it's a it, for the past hundred and some years has been a land of opportunity, and, and it will continue to be so for mm -hmm. a long, long time. So for us to you know start the company uh, a year and a half ago, uh, we have one client, Devon Energy. There's no no secrets there, <laughs> um, and to manage uh, lodging and hospitality assets that they own um, is a great. It's a thrill for us and for me to be able to be here, stay here, and not have to transfer again. You know, this is, the Cole Court is the 13th hotel I've been involved with wow. since 1978. Oh my gosh. So it was time to plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I can't think of a better place to do that Well, than here. We, we are so happy that <laughs> oh, you've thanks. planted here. Uh, both you and your lovely wife, Debbie, have made huge contributions to this community. Oh, and Debbie's excitement for it's, the it's, thunder it's, is so effervescent, oh my gosh, I can no. hardly <laughs> capture Please. it. Don't, me, don't, don't let her get started on that. <laughs> we love the thunder, but she loves the thunder more than Clay <laughs> Bennett loves the thunder, I think. <laughs> but she is excited about her team. Well, it's good. And, you know, they've done so many things in the community. From and that's the, what she does. From I mean, the bus. She, yeah. I mean, I think Debbie drives the bus? Well, she doesn't anymore. She's now the manager of um, educational programs, uh -huh. still in community relations. Right. But uh, she was involved with the Thunder Bus, um, book bus. They gave away thousands and thousands of books to kids. You know, well, and during the playoffs, I was incredibly um, uh, grateful and um, appreciative of the fact that the NBA selected uh, City Care as mm -hmm. their charity. Absolutely. Uh, City Rescue yeah. Mission. Yeah. And um, chose to build a fabulous basketball court that really mm -hmm. looks like the Thunder's Court in the gym. And there's a, a rec room and a reading room, library and computer room upstairs at the uh, mission. And yeah. so um, for all the families that live at City Rescue and Tom Jones, um, who's their CEO, uh, it was just a really perfect match, yeah. I think. And oh, so, absolutely. you know, the team has brought a lot more than just a sports team and a lot more than just winning. It's, um, it's just a whole new mission for the whole city. And as I would say you have, um, you know, being able to bring this new concept, this exciting, um, fun, again, sort of farm to table, but local, uh, local with an added yeah. pizzazz to it. We're all going to enjoy sitting outside in the back courtyard and watching the waterfall. It's so. uh, Flint is a, a great addition to downtown and uh, so thank you for being You're here welcome. i know we've got some great things coming and there's more to come if more you to promise come. me you'll have, come back we, we have a few more tricks <laughs> up our sleeve mr black and i oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll oh, have you yes. back then thanks very much you're welcome <laughs>